Okay, and I just wanted to bring you to this. Uh, it's even uh, a couple of reports I'm going to attach to this. It's uh, even moderate air pollution can raise stroke risks, and it's February the 13th, 2012. Uh, and uh, it's uh, studies being done um, so uh, I'm gonna let you sort of check that out yourself um, just something I thought I'd bring you to um, and there's also uh, this right because you know we're talking about all this radon that's being chucked about which is turning into lead and ending up in the wildlife etc etc I've looked quite into this and I'm gonna try and get this all into some kind of ebook so people can just sort of look at it and but it's very hard to to put it all together because there's so many different aspects but <clears throat> at the moment we've got this un news center has put out um the dangers of air pollution worse than previously thought un health agency warns came out 8th of april 2013 um just to cut through some of the <coughs> bits of this uh There are three and a half million premature deaths every year caused by household air pollution and 3.3 million deaths every year caused by outdoor air pollution. Of course, outdoor air pollution comes into the house. So, you know, it's, uh, so they're talking six million deaths every year just through pollution. Um, ground level ozone pollution was estimated to be a cause, an additional cause. And, you know, I think that uh, ozone is one of the byproducts, uh, as well as other things, but it's one of the byproducts of nuclear processes. So uh, I'm just going to leave you with that. That's my thought. Uh, but that is the UN's <coughs> report. Um, so, with that in mind, I'm going to leave this part of the, uh, the video. Um, to a standstill and I'll just do uh, a couple of other little links which I wanted to point at I'm going to put them all on the uh, YouTube and you can uh, check out